region is Queensland versus New South Wales in rugby league. You play for the state that you first played your senior rugby league competition in and all were born in. It's gone on to be one of the most recognised rivalries in the world. But this big question was, why would women want to play? Well, why wouldn't we want to play? We would dragged there to watch our brothers. It was on TV every night. It was played on the radio station. State of Origin dominated every lounge room in Queensland. It wasn't just for the boys. There steps inside Vettay Well, spectacular try. When you're the first female in an era in the game where everybody's watching, that's immense pressure. It's been tough. I'm not going to shit you. It's, it has been tough. I've copped it. I've copped it because I've seen. I've been seen as a bit of a threat to some of the guys in those positions. So we're going to work on this power tackle. We're going to go hip to hip straight in together. So I'm hitting left shoulder, left foot goes in. Meg goes at the same time. That's where we're hitting. All right. So that way, all the power is always going in that direction. The amount of rugby league that an 18-year-old male would have played compared to an 18-year-old female, it'd be 40 times more. And that comes from organised training, games, but then just playing, lunch times with your mates and all the rest. We have to work full-time, but their job is full-time rugby league, so they're doing their craft 37.5 hours a week. We're working and then you go and you're lucky if you get 10 hours in a week. The bit they sacrifice is the downtime just to, to physically and mentally recover. A professional athlete can train as hard as they need to, and then they can have two hours off. So something that the QRL have done this year, we got paid $4,000 to train on Monday nights for eight weeks. I've been part of this for 10 years, and we've never been paid before. Um, all 32 girls in the squad, which was phenomenal, because normally if you make the game, that's when you get paid but there's still been 32 girls that have put in the hard work to get there. So for everyone to have been rewarded for their time just goes to show how much they respect us as athletes. It's a big step above New South Wales Rugby League in terms of where we're training, the facilities we have, the food we're eating, the money we're being paid to train. Um, you know, we used to do a lot of these sessions and we we're just doing it for free and you just had to get there if you wanted to be a Queenslander and now they're rewarding us for our time and for being professional athletes, so it's, it's massive. Uh, regarding the match payments, there's still negotiations about that, so hopefully that will be bumped up, but that's in NRL hands and that's why there's a group of us fighting to get better pay and around the actual match. <laughs> We do get a $2,000 match payment from the NRL, which has been at that for a, a number of years, and the boys earn 15000 a match. These girls have really taken that next step and, and they're semi-professional now, so the people that are sitting at the decision-making level has changed and they support the game. <laughs>